Hello children, I am Anjali, your EVS teacher from Mangala Vidya Mandira. Children, today we are going to learn 5th lesson. What is your 5th lesson name? Natural resources. Ok, let us start the lesson. So, natural resources. Our earth consists of essential resources which support life. Water, soil, air, minerals, plants, animals, etc which occur naturally on earth are called natural resources. So, what are natural resources children? So, which uh, resources we will get by nature, by naturally. So, this type of resources are called natural resources. For example, you can see in the picture children, sun, animals, minerals, air, rock, forests, etc. Okay. And after studying this lesson children, what we will understand? Understand the need of natural resources, types of natural resources and significance different resources and types of resources like renewable and non-renewable resources and realize the moderate use of natural resources and their conservation. And children here some riddles are there. So, we need to solve this uh, on natural resources. Okay. We, you can't live without me. Every plant, tree, animals needs me. Nobody can see me. Who is this? Yes, air. I occupy major portion of the earth. I satisfy all your thirst. I make animal, tree and plant cool. Who is this? Water. I let you live on me. I help to grow plants and trees. I support all life on me. Who is this? Earth. Okay. The next page. I give fruits and nuts. I spread cooling shade. No life without me. Yes, tree. Vehicles like bus, lorry, car use me to run took thousands of years to form me from underneath the soil you extract me what is this fossil fuel means petrol diesel and all which we will use to move the vehicles plate tumbler and vessels are made up of me beautiful jewels are made up of me my ore will be hardened by you which ore it is children gold darkness drives away from me bright light comes from me a source of energy that is me so who is this children yes exactly sun from where we will get light on earth from the sun itself yes so so children we learnt natural resources what are natural resources so we can classify natural resources in two types what are those renewable resources and non-renewable resources so one by one we will see what are renewable resources so renewable re resources like solar energy air water soil forest etc so these are the renewable resources means how are these resources are available in nature itself in spite of their usage since these are continuously available over the period of human lifetime, these resources are called renewable. Means children, if you continuously use this type of resource, means it will not be get over, it will not get exhausted, it will not finish. So, they will keep on reproducing, they will keep on renewing. Okay, if you use continuously, then also. Solar energy, air, water, etc. Okay, children. So, these are renewable resources. So, the next is non-renewable resources so what are those so these are opposite of uh, renewable resources so resources like coal petrol diesel natural gases will run out due to their continuous usage so children these uh, resources if you use continuously these will finish these will be finished or will get over or else uh, exhausted so that type of resources are called non-renewable resource these re uh, resources will not renew reproduce can't reproduce okay yes so these are non-renewable resources so children now we have learned re renewable and non-renewable so you can make uh, these uh, activity you can do renewable resources non-renewable resources baskets are there you have to put line on the uh, so sources okay what are those coal renewable or non-renewable we have to put line okay uh, on the particular basket okay so now solar energy so what is solar energy so this is the energy obtained from the sun sun is the main source of heat and light to the 
earth so who will give the light and heat yes sun itself we get light and heat from the sun you know that plants prepare their food using solar energy so in what type of activities uh, using the solar energy children yes for example photosynthesis so here we have to make the list using solar energy activities so one is photosynthesis to prepare the food and solar energy is converted into electric electrical energy and in the boiling purposes and cooking also and in the making of light okay and take two pots with soil put a bean seed in each pot keep one pot in a place with sunlight and another pot in a dark corner water the pots daily observe the changes after 15 days record what you have observed you have to observe and write children here and next is you will learn more about solar energy in the unit amazing energy so next next important part is soil so we walk on soil we live on soil soil is also renewable resources like water so we walk on soil we live on soil isn't it children yes soil is also renewable it will not be get exhausted or it will not be get over so soil is necessary for growth of the plants isn't it you already know plants get water uh, and salt uh, required uh, elements from the soil itself to prepare the food isn't it children yes okay so in the next page make the list of activities for which soil is used so where and uh, where uh, where and where uh, the soil will be used field should be covered with vegetation and these are the activities for which soil is used okay the soil should not be used for non agriculture purposes construction of burn in the edges of the field counter filling should be adopted in the slope areas so the outermost rocky layer of the earth is known as crust in the earth structure you can see children crust uh, this is the outermost rocky layer okay above this only we can see the soil part soil part okay soil is the thin top layer of the crust containing minerals and organic substances and it takes nearly 500 to 1500 years for the formation about 3 cm of soil so if the formation of 3 cm of soil it will take 500 to 1500 okay so the next layer of earth is mantle and next outer core and innermost uh, part of layer is inner core okay children so some uh, some uh, preventions are there to uh, what prevent the soil erosion what are those the following measures are taken to preserve the top soil form from erosion so in the picture you can see children we can prevent the soil erosion by various farming by in agriculture by various farming in agriculture so what are those contour farming in the first picture you can see and wind energy and terracing or step farming so if you uh, if you what uh, use these type of farming in your agriculture we can uh, what prevent the soil erosion yes farming according to the shape of land prevent soil erosion is called contour farming okay yes next forest forests are the natural habitat of wild animals and birds so most of the wild animals will uh, live in forest itself and even birds they provide necessary food to the animals and many useful materials to man isn't it children yes like fruits and bamboo oak so many types of trees we can make furniture and uh, even forest will uh, uh, give many medicinal uh, herbs isn't it yes and even honey flowers etc what are the uses of forest forests are also one of the natural resources forests are the shelter for tribal and prevent soil erosion and it gives oxygen increase its quantity in the atmosphere forest provide fruits flower medical plants and wood etc so these trees give out so forest trees give out oxygen and increase its quantity in the atmosphere such useful and valuable forests are being destroyed if we destroyed for various human activities like urbanization industrialization construction of dams etc for so many purpose we will destroy the 
means we will cut the trees in the forest so children we must not forget that destruction of forest is destruction of life okay yes so next is conservation of forest forest can be conserved by restricting unnecessarily felling of trees so we have to prevent unnecessarily felling trees and we have to more plant the trees and proper usage of uh, forest products and cutting down tree branches causing forest fire etc and the government had made some amendment children what are what is that national forest policy and when it's made children 1918 1988 okay yes the government is maintaining and conserves national forest through the forest department uh, by village panchayat local community yes national park and wildlife sanctuary some forests are identified for example baner gata bandipura forest isn't it are protected by making many laws felling of trees smuggling of wood hunting wild animals if they have anybody done means they will be punishable offense okay offenses some religious belief and rituals are also helpful to conserve forest for example nagabana of dakshin kannada devara kadu located in konada kodagu cutting down of trees is prohibited here okay yes many movements have taken place against deforestation when the implementation of several mega project okay so children we will stop here only this lesson again we will continue this lesson in the next video children because only few pages we have completed okay so i hope you understood till here children okay natural resources what are renewable and non renewable resources forest soil erosion conservation of forest conservation of soil okay so if you got any doubt means you can ask me in the group children now the time for homework first you should read the lesson do the working page in the textbook paste or draw the pictures of renewable and non renewable resources in class work any 5 5 okay okay children Thank you.